In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the plastic cup that you can see on the screen. This tutorial will show you how to use the canvas, how to calibrate that canvas to the right size, how to apply constraints to your design sketches such as tangent and parallel, how to use the offset tool, and also how to use the revolve. Let's get stuck straight in. So with a new design, make sure that your data panel is closed. You might also want to turn off the 3D sketch feature that Fusion have introduced. So if your Fusion is up to date, when you press sketch, create sketch, ordinarily it does what it just did there, which is snap to the orthographic view. But with the new feature, the 3D sketch here, when you create a new sketch and choose a plane, it doesn't snap to that orthographic view, which can't, can be quite confusing. So just go ahead and deselect 3D sketch. Okay, so we're going to, first of all, come to insert, drop down menu, and a canvas. You should, should have already downloaded the cup drawing for tutorial from Google Classroom. Make sure that the face is the same as the one that you're seeing on the screen. You can press OK. Make sure that you turn your origin back on. Open the drop-down menu for canvases. Right-click on Cup Drawing through Tutorial. And the th first thing we want to do is to calibrate it, which is to make sure that it's the correct size for us. So using our view cube so that we can look at it from the right, we're going to zoom in. And what the Calibrate tool does is to, as, is to allow us to make sure that whatever we're using as a canvas is the correct size. So I know from this point to the top is 114. And I put my value in there and it increases the size or decreases it proportionally. The second thing, by right-clicking on the canvas, is that I want to edit the position of it. Now, because we're revolving this sketch, it's very important that this bottom edge here sits on the blue line, so I'm using the arrow to drag it up, and that the center of the cup sits in the middle of this axis here. So I'm just gonna drag this over, and we can eyeball that, and that's okay, and press okay. So now I'm going to create sketch, and I'm going to create the sketch on the same plane that I've put my canvas, and I'm going to either use the Create drop-down menu and select Line, or I'm going to press L on my keyboard, and making sure that I start in the middle, and the way that I do that is to use the center point there, and you can see that I get a blue dash line to say that it's in line with the center, and I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna drag over, and up to here, So we can zoom in a little bit and we're going to come up to the top there and press OK. So you can see that I'm not exactly over the sketch underneath, but that's OK. I'm just trying to show you some of the features. The second thing we're going to do, the top here has a roll top. That prevents you from cutting your lip when you're drinking from the plastic cup, but it also gives the cup some structural strength as well. So for creating that, we're going to come to the Create drop-down menu, and we're going to use the two-point circle. And we're going to drag this out like this. And I think that's good there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this and this are a tangent. And they are, so that's one constraint, and we can see here that it's constrained our drawing. That's what that symbol means. This line is a tangent to that circle. The other thing we're going to do is just draw a line here, and I want to show you, so if I just drew that line haphazardly like that, I've exaggerated a little bit, and then I used this tool here, the parallel tool, I can say I want this line to be parallel to that line. If I'd gone make this line parallel to this one, this line would have changed in the same direction. And I'm using this just to trim everything else off. So you can either come to Modify, drop down Menu, and select T or Trim, or Keyboard Shortcut T, and that will allow us to get rid of this part here, this part, and this part here. So now we've got the rough outline or profile of that cup. So the next thing for us to do is to come down to Cre Modify, drop down Menu, and Offset, and if you've got chain selection selected, 
it will allow you to select all the lines in one go. If you only want one particular line, then deselect chain selection. But for this exercise, we do want to select everything. And that should have selected everything in one go. And we only want the thickness to be 0.5. Make that 7. 0.75. OK. Now we need to close this. Before we, we can do the revolve, we need to close profile. So create drop down menu. We're going to use the two point circle again. And we're going to go from here to here. And T, keyboard shortcut. And we'll get rid of that part there. And also we want to put a fillet here and here. So we're going to modify menu again, fillet, and two different ways you can do this. You can either say, I want that line and that line, or if you snap on the corner there, that one, it will automatically do it for you. And then we can change that to make it a little bit more. Okay. Press enter. So you can see that we've only got one sketch active at the moment. Now if we right click, we can repeat the fillet command. And we can say, okay, this one, this line. And because this line is offset from this one, it's doing it automatically. So we're going to make these fillets one mil. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. Zoom out so we can do it a little bit quicker. And we're going to hide our canvas, actually, because that's getting a little bit confusing now. And then we're going to come to the bottom here, modify, fillet, and we're going to choose this point here. And it's done it there, there, and there. Fantastic. And that one there. And the last thing we need to do is press L, which is our keyboard shortcut. Whoops. I was putting a reference in there. I still had a dialog box open there. L and top and tail that. And now we've finished our sketch. So the next thing and the last thing for us to do is actually let's add another little bit of detail. So some other things that I can show you. Here I'm going to put a ridge. So I'm not going to put the ridge there like I did before. I'm going to put it on, ah, let's put it in the same place. <laughs> so we're going to create a sketch. And I think I accidentally chose the wrong plane there. So sketch, make sure I choose this one. And very fine detail here. I'm going to use my circle tool again, two point and Ah, now, I'm glad that happened because you can see now that I'm in a, a different sketch and I didn't want to be in a different sketch. It should be the same sketch. So I'm going to finish that sketch. And again, to keep my timeline tidy, I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete that. I meant to do that. And then we're going to come to this sketch here and we're going to right click it and edit that sketch. Now, when I use my circle tool and I'm using the two point, it will snap onto there like that. And I'm going to make well, actually, I'm just going to randomly draw out some circles because then I can show you the dimension tool. Okay, so now if I press D on my uh, keyboard, which is shortcut for dimension, and I click that circle, drag it out, I want to make that uh, have a one millimeter diameter. And I'm going to do it for this one as well. Click on the circle, drag it out, and type in one. So they now all have the diameter of one. Now, the other thing I could do with my diameter tool, you can see that it's still active by that little icon, is I can say, well, from here to here, I want that distance to be a, a set amount. Now, you can see if I can just drag it out here, this is now not parallel, but if I drag it out up here, it's parallel to those two center points. So I'm going to click, and I want that to be two millimeters. So from the center of one to the other, two millimeters, and then from here to here, I also want that to be two millimeters. Then I'm going to use my trim tool to get rid of, uh, what do I want? I want to have that there. So I'm going to trim, 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 and I can finish my sketch. Okay. Now, let's use the Revolve tool. So it's either here or it's under Create, Revolve. It asks you for the profile, and it's already automatically selected this for me. Then it asks me for the, uh, the axes, and we're choosing the green one. And that's why it was important to have that on the center. And then we're going to press OK. And there is our cup. It was quite a complex form, really. One thing, the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is, let's say, for example, we've made a mistake or we've forgotten to do something. I can go back in my timeline 
to this sketch, and whatever I change in this sketch will automatically update in this revolve. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in something down here. So I'm going to come to this sketch, I'm going to right click, I'm going to edit, it brings up that sketch again, and I'm going to put just a little detail here, sketch, two point circle here, snap, snap, press T to trim, let me zoom in to make sure I get the right lines. What did I do before? It was just added on. Yeah. So get rid of that line there. We need to get rid of this bit, this bit here. And then we finish the sketch. And it automatically does that. So it's possible to go back to a, a previous sketch and, and modify it. OK, there we go. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add in a holder here driving the geometries of this cup.